Hype queen, hype queen. I've never met another individual in the community that is so gung-ho about the artists here, that is front and center at all the shows, who is promoting your shit, probably more than you are, honestly, and just like, just connecting you with people. The phrase that always sticks out in my head about Shang is hype queen, dude. There's not another person that can match the hype of Shang Lore, straight up. What's going on, baby? You know what it is. It's Miles Boulevard, MC extraordinaire from Eau Claire, Wisconsin, and uh, I rap my fucking ass off, baby. Uh, I've always been drawn to music. I remember my first memory of just being entranced was when I was watching my cousin play Grand Theft Auto Vice City, and when More Bounce to the Ounce by Zapp and Roger came on, I had like, my whole world was just shook and I like I, I would annoy my cousin because I would just hijack a car just to listen to that song. And he's like, can you, can you play the game? And I'm like, no, no, you, you gotta listen to this song. And so I've always just been super drawn to music and it just moved me. When I, when I was about 17, I was watching Mac Miller perform live and I just had this epiphany of just, there was like 30,000 people just all in unison, all singing the same thing, and it was just the most beautiful thing I'd ever seen. It was just like every walk of life was there to celebrate one thing, and that was our mutual love of hip hop, specifically rap music, you know what I'm saying? Like that, and I saw Mac on stage, and I was like, you know what? I could do this, you know? I'm good enough to do this. I know not right now, but I know in the future, with a lot of time and dedication and discipline, I can get to this place, and I want to be the person that brings all these people together for this, this shared love and ever since then I just I haven't looked back uh, as a creative. I would say last year especially was a, a really big year for me. I dropped an album called Language That I'm Deeply Ashamed Of and Will Regret Forever. Just I, I grew so much through that time as just a young man and as a creative that I needed to I needed to document it and that's why it took me so long but at the end it was just it turned out so beautiful, I'm so proud of it. And my second project called Must Be New Here with the homie TYB. I came through saying to anyone who gave two bucks. At the tail end of the year. And that was just such a beautiful experience, man. Like that, that was a very community-based project. Like we, we had shot a music video at Mike on Theaters that was just bananas. We had so many people come out and we got to premiere it on the big screen. We had a, a red carpet event. We made it on the news that night. It was just, I don't know, I'm, I'm honestly getting emotional just thinking about it right now. Like, it's just, it was so beautiful. And so I'd say the two biggest things to me are those projects because I put so much heart and passion and, and effort into those. And to, to finally see them realized is, and for, and for people to accept, like, have access to it, it's just, I, that's what I do it for. My experience was so unique with Shang because I, I never, like, my, my the, the way I create the type of music I make is very dense. It's, it's like you need to focus. You can't just throw it on in any circumstance. Like you, you need to focus on it because it's very, it's very poetic, it's very dense, it's very intricate. Like all the, all the different technical rhymes going on at the same time. Like it's, like it's just, it's a lot. And Shang was the first interview that I'd ever had where I felt like someone actually gave a shit and did their homework and, and researched the lyrics and you know you did this here and you did this here and what, what did you mean by this and like I, I've never had someone ask me that it's just like generic cookie cutter questions like I don't know just dumb shit you know like and Shang not only showed how much she appreciates me as an artist but as a friend as well I'm gonna get emotional again <laughs> um, and I just felt really seen and I felt really understood and I think that as artists that's all we really want and and I've never I've never experienced that with any other interview before. Hands down, my favorite interview I've done. I'm not kidding. We listened to it. We pressed play, and I just started bawling, like seriously, like crying, like for a hot like five ten minutes. That's the best song I've ever made, and I knew that in that moment that this is such a special piece of art, and that when someone hears it, they're gonna get it. Mm -hmm. To be a creative to me is to unabashedly express one's truth, to bring a new lens to a world that's in desperate need of just like escape. You get to entertain people, you get to inform people, you get to 
feel with people, you know, and they, you get to know them, they get to know you, and it's just like, it's this, it's this unique perspective that you have in the world that no one else has. And so it's just, I think it's a, it's a gift to just be able to speak your truth. No one else can do it, so you might as well just fucking do it. But I would say since then, not only have I gained a, just a beautiful friend, <laughs> fucking shit, um, Sheng really feels like the glue to the city and has like introduced me to different circles that I never would have had the exposure to. Not only do, do I feel like I gained like a true friend, someone who sees me. <laughs> it's been an emotional day, goddammit. Um, but someone who has the same passion as I do and wants specifically to put Eau Claire on the map, do something that hasn't been done before. And I feel like that's where we really connect is because whenever Sheng and I link, it's we're, we're pitching ideas, we're pitching what can we do to elevate, not just ourselves, but the community because there's so much talent here. And so not, not, yeah, I get all emotional. Not only that, but what I was going off of what I just said is that we are big feelers, Sheng and I, deep, deep empaths. And I think that's something that we really connect with as well as like we feel very deeply and that's why I think our passions just like they just mesh dude like just just a homie I couldn't I couldn't ask for someone more genuine and more passionate to to go after this shit with you know and you can put this part into the the interview the the thing that I really want to focus on is you know a lot of people want to go to California they want to go to New York they want to go to this and that even the cities are close by or Chicago like Fuck that. Eau Claire has so much talent and I want to be a voice of the city. I'm going to be a voice of the city. I am a voice of the city. And Shang is doing the same thing. Like we're, we're after this for Eau Claire because there's no reason why we can't be the next cities. We can't be the next Chicago. We have so much talent to offer people. It's just about getting that light here. You know, we need, we need that recognition. We need that platform because there's so much going on here that no one knows about. Some people do, but not enough. And so that's why Sheng is just the perfect person to work with because we have a very, we have a shared vision of the city, you know, as creatives, and it's 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 a beautiful thing.